through here and this is not all of the full collection but it is the bits that I wanted of the Age of Elegance Sorry, signature collection. <clears throat> so we have some stamps, embossing folder, dies, tricolor aqua, paper pads, and some metal embellishments. So uh, we'll, I'll just do a small thing first. Here is beautiful metal charms. Let, let me open it and show you. It's like like for instance this this one is beautiful. Look at that. So like there's two of each. Oh, and put it over there. Let it fall down. So those are the big things. We got two feathers. We have two letters, two mini letters with hearts on it. And we have two mini fans to go with the two big fans. Very nice, very nice. And also, if you didn't notice, this one's on the back of it. The big one. I like that. That is beautiful. I mean, if they did like a little pack of just the big fans on its own, I might get that. That's those. These are the tricolor aqua. It's quite bright out. So I don't need that light on. Where did it move out? Tricolor aqua by Spectrum Noir. There's three brushes. Each brush has three colors. And they coordinate with coloring and, and like the color scheme of this collection. So for our timeless elegance, we got peach, spice, and dessert. Desert. Um, those are for like skin tones, I believe. Then we've got sunflower, meadow, aquamarine, which is the grace pen. Um, those are like for I think it's the flowers. I mean, it could be for the dresses as well. Yeah. Regency is Sunset, Orchid, and Magenta. So it's quite good that, because, like, I have the uh, Tricolor Aqua from the uh, Enchanted Ocean collection, and I believe well, maybe only Aquamarine is the same color that I already have. Maybe. Which is good. Um, so that's that. <clears throat> I guess we'll do these for it, right? Because they're on the bottom here. Okay, first up, we have Feather Pen and Inkwell. 
I mean, you could just call it a quill, but uh, yeah, it's... Personally, the inkwell pot isn't really my my favorite design, you know. For like a uh, square or rectangle kind of shape, then a oval circle that looks like a pumpkin. Now that I look like it. Um, <clears throat> I say look like it, I said look at it. But anyway, I didn't get this because I did I don't have an inkwell stamp or die. I do have various feather dies, but not a stamp, that kind of like that. So I wanted to, you know it's in my collection. There's a code if you wish to look for it. <clears throat> this is the couple in love. Stamp and dice it. There's the code. Very cute. I mainly got this set because I love Jane Austen Pride and Prejudice. So, you know. <clears throat> Technically, that's the only book I read. I watched the other movies. But yeah, anyway. This is Garden Arch and Topiary Urn. Stamp and dice it. I didn't point it out. There's a code. And there is that. Those would be good for like uh, wedding cards or something. Here we have Love Letter. Stamp and dice it. So this technically is a combination of two orders. I got this and the paper pads in one order, then I got the rest of these the, uh, the day after, like 4 in the morning. <laughs> but uh, yes, this is what I really like. So there's the code, and see so there's the envelope, and like a stamp to go with the paper, letter, or whatever, a stamp on there. Then we got the rose, that has a die with it, and the wax seal heart thing. It's coincidentally. I do have a heart wax seal. Came with the uh, Just Say collection. But anyway, I really like this one. I'm like this has like a cutting. <clears throat> I think this part. Maybe? Well, it has a, some cutting part where you can slide the envelope, the uh, letter inside. This. But you can slide the letter inside the envelope. I don't know if I actually said that properly before. But anyway, there's that one. Then we have this other one, which I really like, is the Lost in a Book. And this metal die has like the outside bits, you know, and like pages on the inside. You've got a bookmark, got a heart. Well, two heart kind of things there. A love word die and a feather. Very nice, very nice. There's the code. Got it close. And then we have the exquisite frame. There is a frame, but I do have kind of over frames in my collection already. So I thought I'd just go with this because it comes with the flowers. Well, here's the okay. cone. See? It comes with flowers and leaves. Oh, well, that'd be nice. Also, it's a very pretty frame, too, anyway. So, those are these ones. Now, these ones. Here we have the stamp set for Elegant Ladies. There's the girl. Here's the lovely Elegant Lady for stamps. Well, three ladies and stack books. 
Here is the Love Conquers All sentiment stamp set. My favorite is the Jane Austen quote, which is, My heart is and always will be yours. Love Conquers All, just a note, sending you love. Take time for you. <laughs> Wishing you the happiest of birthdays. The beginning is always today. That's good. But yeah. And last, well not last, I didn't do the paper cut today. <laughs> right. So the last of the mini stuff. Oh, the stuff that is in paper. Is the secret garden to the embossing folder. It's a 5x7 uh, inch, by the way. Here's the cover. That's a lovely, like, oh, a forest oh. garden with the fountain in the middle and you can like die cut your your couples or your topiary and arch. Put it there and you know and set your couples in front here. Yeah. You know. So that's that stuff. So next is the paper pad. I got two of the small ones, 6 by 6 And on the CTV, the well, crafters, crafters TV, when Sarah went through this, the designs are slightly different, so I got both. <laughs> I was thinking maybe get another one of these big ones, but I should probably use what I have first. And I got two of the small ones. So I liked the uh, lady at the writing writing at the desk one and some of the anyway, I'm gonna show you. A lovely B side. And it is Paper pad 6x6, 180 GSM, 24 double sided pearlescent shapes. So that is beautiful. Let me put this up here so you can get a better look. I don't know if you really get the lovely pearl of it, but here's this very lovely. Uh oh, secret speech. Where he goes. So two of each design. Very lovely picnic. I'm doing a secret rendezvous. And that is a gazebo. And lovely archway. This is the edge of the garden. Very lovely one. I really like this one. Kind of gives me that Elizabeth Bennet writing to Mr. Darcy or something in the drawing room. <laughs> and don't forget the B sides in the top panel. Lovely manor house. Just go and visit a friend. Now. Yeah, so that's this one. And now, where did I point out? This is the back. It's good. Okay. Yeah, the reason why this one's open and this one's open is because I, I opened it uh, 
last, last night to show my mom pictures because she's asking why did I buy more stuff. <laughs> anyway, so yes. There. Very lovely. And like, they are slightly different. Because like, she's not in the drawing room, she? Because you can't tell it's a drawing room. Anyway, here's the code. This is one of my favorites. Because I just like this old English kind of feel here. Okay, so let's go back down slightly because I don't space. So this is also 24 double sided pearlescent sheets. 12 by 12, 180 GSM. 24. So Two designs of each. If I put the light on, it'll be better. Better shine there, you can see. Much better in person. That is a very huge sheet. I can do a card here, card here, card here, card here. You know, you get four, four toppers out of one sheet, maybe. That's a pretty one. A picnic. Some pinks in there. Show it to you sideways because I have no space. Like these um, cameo bits or whatever portraits you can put on topper on the card. So shiny. What is this part of mm, Mr. Darcy, really, when I look at this path? Um, also, my, if this was a bit wider, a bit more, I don't know, grander, it could be Mr. Darcy's mansion at Pembroke. Um, anyway, I really need to rewatch it. It's been a while. But anyway, yes. And that is the 12 by 12 That's everything. So, um, oh yes, I forgot to actually go through. Okay, so for the... Both of these... Was £11.98. I think it was like £5.99 each or something. The 12x12 is £14.99. And the Love Letter stamp and die set was $9.99. Then we have another $9.99 is the Tricolor Aqua Pens. And then we've got uh, the Metal Charms was $4.99. Then we have the Secret Garden emb 2D Embossing Folder $3.99, which was, I believe, the cheapest of all of it. <laughs> Um, then we've got three coming in at $12.99, which is the Garden Arch and Topiary Yarn. 
the exquisite frame and lost in a book. The rest are $7.99, which is the Love Conquers All stamp set. Elegant Lady stamp set. Couple in Love stamp and die set. Feather pen and ink quill. Wait, that's it, right? Yeah, that's everything. So one, so the first order of these and the uh, love letter was uh, twenty-nine um, seven, uh, fifty-seven, and the rest of it was uh, seventy-one pounds ninety-two. Luckily, all of them over twenty, so it's free shipping. But uh, yes, that was everything. I can't wait to start crafting when my hand doesn't hurt anymore. <laughs> I don't know whether it's because I was using scissors too vigorously or something, but my whole hand aches when I lean on it, and since I need to lean on it to get around, that doesn't help. <laughs> Even picking up a placemat at the dinner table hurts my hand. So, it'll be a while until I probably die cut anything, but I might stamp some stuff and kind of something ahead of time. I don't know. I mean, I could probably try and die cut with my left hand, but uh, since I'm right-handed, it's not very... Yes, anyway, I forgot what the word was. So, that is everything. I'm just rambling. That one, nothing. Um, yes. I'm so happy I got I mean, it's so pretty. Not the secret, secret smooch, as Sara says. Um, but like it's the, the paper is beautiful. I think one of my favorite stamp pages is this though. Writing a letter in the drawing room. I don't think you can hear it, but man, that bird is loud. I got loads of, we've got loads of birds and the hedges and everything, and they don't shut up. Of course, I don't think it helps that there was a bird feeder in the front lawn, but anyway. It's so pretty. I just stare at it for ages. Um, look at that one. That's quite a nice one, too. And that one, all of them, they're so pretty. Yes, that's why I got two. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but I don't think I'll be putting them on my wall. Don't think so. Though it is tempting to at least put this one on my wall. Because that is. Um, I mean, I could. But probably shouldn't. <laughs> I will for one of the uh, 12 by 12 uh, Cosmic Collection ones, though. Because I, I can put a poster over that anyway. You know, many ones that I have up. And I have like the Cosmic Collection is the back one. I am so... babbling over... Nothing to do with this collection. Okay, so I shall leave it at that. Ooh, cloud cover. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, let me know which one is your favorite of the items. I mean, if you want. Or just comment on how I probably go off on tangents too much. Who knows? Um, but man, I do love that. Big fan though. Bernie. Okay, so. Thank you for watching. Over and out.